Hello, I am Fjallsberg and we are playing Tyranny. We just arrived at a new map of the... Um, what was it called? Burning Library. I'm not entirely sure what to expect here. So let's just sneak around and see what we can see. The Beast Woman is sneaking on all four. What did you find? I don't see anything. Okay, we don't get any further this this way, it looks like. What does this bed mean? They are arrested. Yeah, we're well arrested and eating the fire. Mine Minus 15 to magic skills and all sorts of things. Okay. Stairs going that way. The corpses of sages are skewered on the spikes. Alright. Okay, there are some people walking about here. Florant, Foul Murmur. Oh, these are Scarlet Chorus guys. Okay, so we'll go speak with them. A twisted man leans over two forms on the ground, one robed figure covered in bruises and the other a soldier, horribly burned, lying motionless to the side. The bloodstained man flashes a gap-toothed smile. I would welcome you properly, Fatebinder, but my hands are full as if that reminds him, he looks down and absentmindedly licks a drop of blood from his finger. You are, if you're here on business, you should speak with our leader, the censor. Her tent is to the east, near the main entrance of the library. The robed figure moans as the man kicks him. Our troops are making great progress on the ruins below and could benefit from your assistance. He glances at the bodies. For I know how this must look, but it's all compl in compliance with Tunan's laws. He shrugs and turns away. If you don't mind, I'm eager to resume my work. Okay. This is Folant, is this the guy he's kicking? Yep, it is the guy he's kicking. They won't see me coming. Okay, there are some dead people that we could loot. Tower shield and blood mass. Okay, nothing there. Just head to the entrance here, like so. Toggle enemy indicators, loot indicators, exits, points of interest, and key characters. So if I do this, yeah, okay, they're all toggled on. This woman is fast, fast, silent, best hunter. Faith binder, your bloodletting is legendary. The sensor will be honored to receive you. All right. Bloodhound. Lootables. I guess we're gonna lootables here and scrap stuff. Locked. Well, wasn't locked anymore. Okay, why is the mouse not wanting to click on that? The sensor. Okay. 
Ah, if it isn't the Fate Binder of Tunon, what an unexpected surprise. I am the censor and welcome to my camp. It is good to see familiar face. The woman voices carries over a genial tone that doesn't quite carry all the way through her words. Sadly, I must... Uh, sadly, I must say I can't entertain you properly at the moment. You come at a very busy time for me. We are making a bold push to explore the labyrinth's depths. However, before we finish our pleasantries, you could satisfy my curiosity. Why are you here? With, with question, her voice goes flat and takes an accusatory tone. I don't appreciate being question censor and Tuna's fate binder, no excuses, no invitations. Or Narat tasks me with retrieving knowledge from the ruins here. Let's go with the Narat here. Uh, you must meet the silent archive. I would hope to, I hope to have received it already to avoid just such a problem. Unfortunately, we haven't finished our search yet. If your goal was to find it, you should know that it's not as easy as just walking in there and taking it. It seems that the tricky sages were afraid someone might want to take their precious archive and hid it behind a barrier. Arcane, impenetrable, really shame how ma many men we've lost to uh, rebounding spells. She waves ha a hand dismissively. So my men are looking for the passcode to get beyond it. We don't know how many parts there are, just that there are somewhere inside the library. Now, even these scholars have been able to find pieces for us, not yet anyway. She motions to a nearby sage who stands with his head bowed in shame. So I gave everyone some incentive and made a game of, out of it. You're welcome to enter the library, provided you agree to play by the rules of the competition. She titters with excitement. If you want to find this silent archive, you must take part in my game too. Uh, Betray Alliance, okay, I have no need for your little game, I'll take Silent Arc for myself, I could try to do that, but no. Tell me about this game of yours. Several Scarlet Chorus teams were dispatched down into the ruins of the library which some, uh, with some sages to serve as guides. The team who completes the passcode gets through the barrier and gains access to the silent archive will face glory and reward the others. She draws a finger across her throat. Only one is allowed to succeed. If you wish to join the merry hunt, you'll be yet another team racing against others, though you won't be getting any sages, of course. Uh, you have sages working with you, how many manage that? No, I'll go with number one here. The chorus can be most persuasive at times, and you know how we like to employ unconventional incentives. What is the silent archive? The archive is the sage's most guarded treasure, held at a grand chamber, though it contained more knowledge than all the tears combined. While she's speaking to you, one of the horde approaches her with a parchment held out before him. She takes it from him, uh, her head never turning to look away from you. Here's a brief flare of bluish, bluish, bluish light from her hand as she hands the parchment back to the horde. Stop bringing me words I've already taken or I will have your head. She speaks slowly, I will well, still looking at you, but every word the horde pulls back as if he's about to be struck. Put them in a separate pile so you know that you've had them or ask someone to read them to you. If you take the same missive more than one time, you'll regret it. The horde backs away, murmuring apologies uh, profusely as she does. She addresses you again. I'm sorry you had to witness that. Now, where was I? Oh yes, the silent archive. Our scouts have reasons to believe it survived. Some magic keeps the library from being swallowed by fire, so perhaps it too protects the Silent Archive. Okay. What do you know about the Eating of Fire? I believe this in this I believe the Silent Archive 
is at the heart of the Vellum Citadel was never destroyed, she says it almost conspiratorially. If that is true, it would explain why the edict is ongoing. She points towards the entrance and the mountain of the wall. If someone were to get down there and remove the silent archive from the library, I'm willing to wager it could be useful to Kairos' will. You're going to destroy the silent archive, an artifact with more knowledge than the tears combined? What happened with that missive? What was that flash of light? You're a mage, basically. I don't see how that's pertinent, but if you must know, I'm not the only one with unique talents in the tears. Fatebinder. Not everyone needs to use their eyes to read. Sending me to a library seemed obvious. She giggles. What a perfect way to collect knowledge. And you're going to destroy the silent archive. Of course, Fatebinder is forbidden knowledge after all, and it's not like Nerat doesn't have a plan. She stops herself, standing straight. Never fear, we will deal with the Silent Archive appropriately. Alright, Lore 38, and agree the rules of competition. You need to time to reconsider or betray alliance. Lore 38, did you just imply to a Fatebinder that you intend to retain all the knowledge in the Silent Archive? The sensor shakes her head vigorously. Certainly not. I have no idea how you got that idea. So put it out of your head. Nirath knows Kairos' laws and will never do anything to openly break it. Or break them. I think everyone is positioning for their own strength here and, and running out on top and sort of ignoring Kairos because you know, they haven't seen Kairos up in person anytime soon. Alright, I agree. Rules of competition. Let's head on in. Excellent. Normally I would ask you to prove your honesty and loyalty to the chorus, but your actions elsewhere have already shown that. You are free to enter. But I will still ask you a favor of you. My assistant, Foul Murmur, has something he needs done. If you'd be so kind, he's somewhere nearby. I believe he has recently acquired uh, talking to one of the prisoners. Foul Murmur. Is that the guy over here? Yeah. So, go speak to this guy over this way. And where are you? You're this guy? Yeah. The Fatebinder returns, Foul Murmurs gives you a mock bow, he holds out a red stained hand and thinks better of it and retracts the offer. Uh, the sensor says you have a task for me. That I do, though we've captured and subdued most of the surviving sages, those that have escaped the library are rallying behind their de facto leader, Renata. The censor wants her killed to make sure that any remaining sages don't get ideas about taking this region back. The trick is finding her. As luck may have it, one of our patrols picked up uh, picked up this one. He gives a swift kick to the roped figure beneath him. One of the Renata's own, perhaps you should speak with him. He's rather poor conversationalist so far. He stares at you for a moment. Be careful though, Fatebinder, he does not have much left in him. If you're going to try to get some information from him, be sure to ask the right questions. As for me, I could use a break. Interrogation is a thirsty work. One too many one-sided conversations. As can you find me in camp? You can find me in camp if you need anything. All right, um, and addendum added. So we speak to Folant. The sage has clearly suffered at the hands of his captors. Burn marks covers his legs and his shoulders slump unnaturally. Do what you will, Fatebinder. It matters not if I die, as long as my school's work lives on. I'm not your enemy. What do the sages want with the burning library? How do I find Renata? Uh, what do the sages want with the burning library? The sage narrows his eyes at you, his mouth presses into a hard line, he shakes his head. The bloodhound next to you laughs, this is not how you get information, you need to use your fists. 
Foland slowly moves his head to meet your gaze, but says nothing. He seems to be waiting for you. Uh, I am not your enemy. Your actions speak louder than words, Fatebinder. Empty promises mean nothing. How do I find Renata? This nation has her eyes. Okay, he shakes her head. Ah, so violence again. Guess I'll hit it myself then. Not sure that that's uh, the best way to get information out of a learned captive. Perhaps I could have a word. If you think you can get information out, you're always welcome to try, Lantry. Yep, you do that. Brother Foland. We have lost, lost. Lantry snaps a quill between his thumbs and index fingers for emphasis. Look what has become of our archival fortress. There's no wisdom in clinging to what was. Your efforts are not to be wasted. You must help us meet with any and all the sages still alive and kicking. I have found amnesty by working with the Fatebinder here. If you help us, the others could stop living as prey. Even There's even a Lantry coughs nervously. Talk of us being allowed to keep some of our old writings if we play nice. But if you keep on resisting, we can't help you or the rest of your brothers and sisters. You're bowing to the Oron's justice bringers, full and eyes filled with rage. Naturally, you would be arguing for surrender since long before Kyra's forces marched south. It was a stupid plan then, it's a stupid plan now. The sages have been punished enough, there's mercy for those who might cooperate. Uh, or. I don't know exactly which way to go here. Maybe I'll just remain silent and just wait for him to say something. The sage looks uh, askance, unwilling to meet your gaze. I'm standing here as living proof that we can live on, our knowledge can live on, but we need to be willing to swallow our pride a bit. Effigy is now unlocked on the world map. All this. Uh, full on. All this sounds, his hands ball into fists, only for rage to leave his body with a long sigh, like it might be our only option. If our lord could be saved, go and talk to Renata. If you want other survivors to go along with all this, you need to convince her first. Last we traced missives, she was laying low in the effigy. She's probably still there. So I guess it's a detour. There's something timed out. Interburn Library, Trail of Arkans, Stirring Visions, God Burning Library, Kill Renata or Find Renata and Kill her, Speak with Foul Murmur. Well, if I hide completed quests here, let's do that right now. Alright. Something timed out, so I can't actually enter the library again until I've found her. Guess we're going to find Renata. And the effigy is here. Village has survived the initial destruction wrought by Carlos' Edict of Fire, but fell prey on a more insidious enemy, the wind. Okay. Let's head this way. Characters can be targeted by selected by selected by left click. Okay. Right, so we are down here. Uh, have a look here. Scroll and a javelin. Or is it actually a bow? Fate finder. Right, so the scroll, does that have any use? House seal. The scroll contains a magic expression which can be used to spells that affect targets at a distance. 
Oh, so I can learn this. Learn the new sigil expression. Yeah, good. Excellent. Anyway, I actually think I'll take a break here and uh, carry on in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching.